Hi, I'm Molly Katz, the K of the KB Lift. And I'm Brian Weisman, the B of the KB Lift. And together, about, I don't know, two and a half years ago, Molly and I modified a procedure that a friend of ours had developed for using injectables to lift the face. We did it a little bit differently to the point where it worked really well, and we called it the KB Lift. So what is a KB Lift? KB Lift is a procedure where we use filler placed behind the hairline to exert tension on the little connections between the skin and the deeper tissue. The KB Lift exerts a pull in this direction, sort of along the cheekbone, if the cheekbone were to be extended back. And in people who are good candidates, you'll see an improvement in the position of the cheek and the front part of the jawline. Now, a lot of people are talking about KB lifting. It's important that we understand who's a good candidate and who's not such a good candidate because it isn't for everyone. First point is that KB lift is not a facelift. Facelifting is a surgical procedure that does very different things than KB lifting. KB lifting does give really nice lifting of the cheek and the jawline in some patients. However, KB lifting by itself with nothing else might be right for some people, but other people for best results will need KB lifting in conjunction a little bit of filler placed behind the jawline or a little bit of filler placed in the chin to really get best contouring of the mid and lower face. So KB lifting can be a great option for some patients. It's not for everyone. If someone really needs surgery, they need surgery and not KB lifting. But it can be a great way to treat people who have mild to moderate changes in their face. We're going to show you on us whether we'd be good candidates for KB lifting or not. But also to add to that is that sometimes we'll use the KB lifting as a way to prep the face for other injectables, whether we're doing around the eyes, the central part of the face, even the lateral kind of cheek, um, jawline, chin, all of that. Sometimes we'll use that almost as a little anchoring point for us then to sometimes be able to utilize less filler in other parts of the face. So sometimes we use it as a tool to help kind of stabilize things for us to then work in and around it. So I think that's something that's important to you. So am I a candidate for a KB lift? <laughs> so Dr. President is a candidate for a KB lift, but the thing is too for men and even for women is you have to be mindful because the, the filler sits in this area behind the hairline. So if you don't have much hair here, occasionally you can see the bump and you can push the bump down um, to smooth it out if you need to, um, but because it's not the bump that gives the lift as much as it is the filler where the filler is placed. But Dr. Beisman, he could benefit from having a KB lift because if you pull here, you can see where his cheek moves, but you can also see down here where his jawline moves. But he's a candidate for a KB lift in terms of stabilizing things for us then to work both here here and back through here to utilize other fillers and other parts of the face but this alone for him is not going to make all that much a difference although it makes a meaningful difference in terms of movement movement to stabilize things he would not benefit from just that by itself um, so i think that's just something to keep in mind where there are some people who have very little change in other parts of their face where you can use a KB lift to get just a little oomph and a little boost um, that makes a big difference because there's not much else that needs to be um, adjusted or paid attention to but a lot of times we use that as a means to kind of prepare for other things um, or in conjunction with other areas of the face that we treat with filler. Finally, meet Haley. <laughs> Which most of you probably know if you come to our office. <laughs> Haley had a KB lift 
last August, August of 23. When we do our little test to see if someone's a candidate for KB lift, there's very little movement in Haley's face. And I would tell her that I don't think she's really ready for another KB lift yet. She's holding up very nicely. We'll check her again in several months and see, but she's got a good ways to go before she's really gonna see meaningful benefit from 